G'day YouTube. I'm in the process of redoing my get home bag with the new design behind me. Kind of happy with how it's turning out so far. But one of the things I've been doing is I was pulling apart all my medical kits to kind of have a look and I thought that might make a good short video. So coming up, medical kits. All right, so what I have in front of me here is the medical kits that I take in backpacks and things. Uh, this is a new one that I bought and this started off with me going through it. Uh, and kind of realizing that it was missing a few pretty essential things, even for a small, cheap $10 kit. Um, for example, it didn't have gloves in it at all. Um, and there's no eye wash or anything in any of the kits that I have. Uh, so that's something that I know that I've an issue with and I have to go and get some. But I thought I'd go through kind of what I've got in terms of the kits. Now, starting off with this kit, this is a... Fairly common first aid kit you'll buy at supermarkets and things. Um, this is actually a 92 piece kit and most of that is filled up with band-aids and washcloths. Uh, disinfectant wipes. So it does have like a face mask stuff. I'm going to put an image of what it is all de-packed there. But again, there's a couple of things that you can add to it to make it, I think, better. Example... There was no gloves whatsoever, so I'll put a set of gloves in there. Um, I like to have a working area if I'm going to spew out a, a kit. So what I'm going to also do is I'll put in here some paper towel just to make that a bit better. And a texter because you never know when you need to write down what you've done. Um, I also like to replace some of the band-aids with some better quality ones. Uh, for example, this kit of band-aids, like these ones, cost twice as much as this whole kit. Uh, and you do get what you pay for, so having some good quality band-aids in a kit as well can be beneficial. Uh, there was no masks or anything, so what I'll do is I'll chuck a mask in there as well. Uh, and I'm also going to take a couple of Nurofen and put it in there because well, there's no drugs whatsoever. The kits themselves are always lacking on something like this. So this is uh, basically a little light that happens to be from a maritime museum. Uh, so it's also got a compass and like a flashing light as well as a, a a little light. If you're doing looking at someone's injuries and you need a torch, it's having this clip to the outside uh, will, will help out uh, and some hand sanitizer. Uh, so things that I would generally kind of look to add as well is a, a mirror because uh, you can so you can see what you are doing if you're doing something on self self help. Um, in my more advanced stuff, that I've, if I'm carrying it, I'll carry something like this, which is a trauma bandage, Israeli trauma bandage, bandage. Uh, some body warmers, which are also nice to have. These are ten hour ones, so if someone's cold or deep or or wet, you can use those. Uh, a whistle map, uh, whistle matches and things could also be useful. This is what I use as a an IFAC. Um, so this is a hard drive case um, attached to the outside here. I have a rescue pen, a tactical pen that I can use to break windows, and also use as a pen. And also I have a proper, a better knife than what's obviously in it. So inside of this, you might've seen this in some other kits, but I've never really opened it. Uh, so I have some Nurofen, uh, a SWAT T, um, a Z-Pack uh, dressing. And up in the top here, I have some Gaffer tape, real gaffer tape, some good band-aids of various different sizes and types. Uh, because if I'm, even though this isn't a boo-boo kit, chances are if someone's asking me for help, that's what they're going to need. Um, and I like the SWAT T in these kind of kits because if you're needing to use a compression bandage, it can double as that. Whereas just using a, a rack for example, a rat tourniquet. Uh, this is a China clone, so I probably shouldn't use it, but it's all I could really budget for. Um, so I do carry rat tourniquets as well, and knowing how to self-deploy them is, is very important. 
but in terms of providing a care and aid to others, uh, that's the way I'm going down. Um, most types of kits, this one does, doesn't include any kind of compression bandage. Actually, this one didn't, didn't have a compression bandage. So I would also keep a compression bandage with it. So there are lots of different types of kits out there. Uh, this is an example. This is the medical kit point three. This is the one that I've had in my get home bag for quite a while. I quite like it in that it comes with a bunch of things that aren't in normal kits. But this one's still sealed up. But it's already got like moleskins and a couple of drugs and medication and some different gauze and stuff as well. So it could actually be quite a powerful kit by itself uh, and in conjunction with, you know, a rat tourniquet or a SWAT T you can do better. Uh, having some Sharpies is also a good idea. And you can see up here, having some masks, uh, better quality masks can do good. Uh, in terms of other things, I actually, you know, everyone carries around those reflective uh, bandage, uh, reflective blankets, which there is one in that kit. I also like to keep a couple of ponchos. These ones are ponchos and reflective. Uh, the idea is that if you have one person that's cold and wet, having them stop being wet is a good start and the reflective will help them stop being cold. Uh, so it's kind of a two for one deal and they're better quality. Than normal so that's just a quick rundown uh, in terms of what i'm putting into the first aid kit uh, in my go bag i'm probably going to have this one and that one and a combination of the rest of this gear uh, you know vaseline is very useful in a get home bag and having some masks and and other things will be will be good there so that's just a quick rundown um any questions, put them in the book below. I do have that big green kit that I keep in the car, which does have eye cut protection and a whole bunch more stuff. It's a bit more community focused. Uh, but this is dumb stuff that I would carry on a, a get home trip or if I'm going out for a hike and I need to provide care to someone else. Uh, thanks for watching.